Good morning, Arlene Wilson here again, Master Gardener with the Yates County Cooperative Extension. And so I wanted to show you my little garden. It's a very small garden behind my house, as you can see. Um, probably about uh, 12 feet by 4 feet. Um, this is also my rose bushes inside the fence. And then I have a little corner over there as well. So here's where I'm going to place the cardboard uh, for you to see how this is done. Good morning. So I'm going to show you how the cardboard looks. So you'll see I have two pizza boxes laid out in a row. Most pizza boxes come with a little insert that the pizza comes on. So you can put that on the blank spot, the empty spot, which I did before. So I just wanted to share with you that it is 30 degrees where I am located. And yet, look how little weeds have already started. So we are not a moment too soon for the no-till gardening. And the minute it warms up, they're going to warm up. Ooh, still chilly out here. But I do want you to see my progress. So again, I'm using all these different boxes. I'm breaking them down. I'm even using the box inserts, uh, the sectional cardboard from uh, the boxes of wine. So all cardboard, your goal is to cover as much as the ground as possible. A little bit of overlap, but not a whole lot. You'll see some spots. Um, the boxes still um, come up a little bit, but that's fine. A little bit of moisture and wetness will lay that right down. So that is the first step. And then the second step as it warms up, we may actually water the cardboard to get a little more moist. And then we'll put uh, different types of compostable material over the top. Um, when that first grass cutting happens, which is going to be very soon, those grass clippings are going to go on top of the cardboard, both of which um, are uh, materials that will break down very easily and will nourish the soil and our future seedlings and future gardens. Okay, so we are all done. And just to show you behind me how much I have done. So I've gotten just about all of it done. You'll see there's a spot that I left open where there's a green plant. So uh, some lemon balm decided to move in and make itself the home. So I'm not going to pull that up. It comes back every year and that can be used to make tea or perfumes or sachets, uh, also as a marinade for meats. Uh, so it's very helpful. Um, I just have one more corner to do, and I'm sure somebody's ordered something from Amazon in my house, so I should be able to finish that this week. Meanwhile, while I'm out here, I get to enjoy my roses coming up. I'm still on the lookout for weeds, so they need a little early weeding and have a little crabgrass in there. And a little gentle pulling and tugging will take good care of. All right. So that is Arlene Wilson, Master Gardener, on how to put down cardboard for no-till gardening. Step one. You all have a good day. Stay warm. And get out there, walk around, and dig in the dirt. It's all good.